Of course, I did not wake up at eight and say, I want to be an etiquette professional. That would have been a little tragic, maybe. <laughs> but for, there's two sides, of course. There's the etiquette side and the business side. The etiquette side, etiquette's always been a part of my life. Hmm. My mother sent us to charm school. I went to modeling school, which turned out to be finishing school for middle class girls. Mm. Uh, John Robert Powers, if I date myself really uh, severely. I competed in pageants. And uh, in 2011, before I started my business, I uh, uh, attended the Protocol School of Washington in order to add some current credibility to my resume as an etiquette lady. On the business side, I am a... uh, uh, it, I used to be a paralegal. Mm-hmm. I was an intellectual property law paralegal for a very, very long time. And if you know anything about the world of attorneys, I'm sh- and I'm saying that facetiously because I know you know a lot about it, mm-hmm. uh, the, the attorneys have all of the managerial power. Mm-hmm. And everyone else who operates on teams, we have to use our soft skills to get people to buy in because you have deadlines and you have to manage down, across, and up. And so it was in that environment that I really honed my business etiquette skills without realizing it. Uh, Fast forward to the downturn. I was ready for something different, and I wanted to give back to the community. So I thought, well, this is something I love doing because I was always the de facto etiquette lady in my family. I learned about the foster care system in, I was in California at the yeah. time, and how the young people there who don't get adopted, they end up aging out of the system at the age of 18, and they end up, a lot of them, homeless, and uh, basically on their own. And part of the issue is that they never receive the life skills that we all take for granted. Simple things like navigating uh, the workspace. Yeah. So I thought, well, this is a great way for me to give back. Uh, So I started working in that space, and I soon realized that it was a missing piece for a lot of young people. 